Hi, I'm the College Money Mom. As a parent of a college-bound student, you're just now thinking about applications, acceptances, and most especially financial aid. But here is something else worth thinking about. Will your student be able to finish college on time? Finishing? I'm just trying to get my child started. Why is that important right now, you're thinking? Well, it's important because not having a plan to finish on time could make the cost of college balloon out of sight. Just one additional year spent at a typical state four-year college is about $23,000. Add to that the loss of one year of a graduate's pay at a job which could average $45,000. This is a total loss of $68,000, not even counting the increased debt for those who borrow. So, if you have been working closely with your student about college, now is the time to develop a game plan. The name of the game is Graduate on time, and the rules are pretty simple. Number one, talk about the money. Show your child the numbers, especially the thousands of dollars lost in potential wages. That's an attention getter. If your family is on a tight budget, now's the time to be clear about real consequences. Explain that extra years spent in school would need to be paid for by the student. Number two, get a major and keep it. Help your child plan a major. Don't settle for undecided. Even before choosing a particular school, comb through course catalogs to see if that major is well represented. Talk with college advisors to make sure that a degree in that major can actually be earned in four years. Number three, make a chart. Once in college, your student should meet with an advisor right away to make a chart. This chart will show the order of coursework for achieving the chosen degree. Students should take only the necessary credits to graduate. They should plan ahead not to get shut out of required classes. If a refinement or even a change in your student's major should become necessary, the advisor will examine the chart to see if that change can be made without jeopardizing the graduation goal. Number four, stay on track. Your student must meet with an advisor at least once every semester to make sure the plan is on track for on-time graduation. This includes completing any non-course requirements, such as internships. Your student must maintain the college's required minimum GPA and agree to get tutoring for tough subjects. Number five, don't change schools. Agree not to change schools because time and credits will be lost. Number six, stay healthy. Make a pact with your student that he or she will get enough sleep, eat the right foods, and stay fit enough to win this game. If you have questions, please email me at thecollegemoneymom at gmail.com. Be sure to like me on Facebook and subscribe to me right here on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.